Welcome to Dreamcatcher, the program where you can find peace through understanding dreams and visions. I'm Robin Hardin. Recently, I sat down with Angela, who considers herself to be a true patriot. Like many of you, Angela has real concerns for America. And one evening as she slept, the Lord gave her a dream where he addressed those concerns. Angela, you sent me a dream a little while ago, and I, you know, I asked if you could come in. I didn't read it because I like for it to be fresh, so I really have no idea oh, really? what the Lord is saying to you. Um, so thank you for coming out yeah. and being willing to just open your heart and share. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> so do you dream a lot? Um, when I'm fasting, right after the fast, yeah. I'll have a lot of dreams. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I don't have dreams, I start saying, Lord, have I done something wrong? I haven't gotten anything lately. Yeah. That was, This was one of those dreams. I was like, Lord, are you upset with me? Am I not doing something? I, you know, and I really start searching. So the Lord answered me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, it, it was such a beautiful day uh, in my dream. And actually that day, prior to the dream it was a beautiful day and I had just been telling the Lord how nice it was that I was actually able to uh, plant my flowers and my garden and um, I was getting to go fishing and things that I enjoy doing yeah. you know it was in my dream um, I have a Ford Explorer and I was in the back of the in the back seat and my husband was driving and his best friend was in the passenger seat and I was like this on the back seats talking to the guys I'm just enjoying the the countryside we're driving down the road you know it's so beautiful and we're getting ready to come up this hill and I'm just enjoying it and all of a sudden we get to the hill and I was an instant just <gasps> oh god help us you know and there was this storm that was raging it was just i mean you could you knew it was going to take over i mean it was oh all of a sudden instead of me being in the back i was now on the driver's side uh, driving and i i mean all i could hear was pray 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 and um so i get in the I mean, I turned the car around, and my husband actually went to the back seat, <laughs> let's just say. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm backing up, and I turn around, and I go down this road, and I can still see sunshine the direction in which I'm going. And, um, but you know this thing is coming. This, you know that tornado and that horrible rainstorm I, I I'm pull down this dirt road and um, I'm looking for a place to park and there's just no place to park. I mean, there's no place to put my car and us in a safe place. And um, Wally, the, my husband's friend says, we'll park over there. And both Scott and I at the same time said, we can't. The rain, we would get stuck if the water, you know, came down and the wheels would just spin and so I ended up turning around and backing my car back up into a briar bush like blackberries and those little really big briar like a wall of briar bush okay and now I'm now I'm in the back seat again and I'm sitting up there and I've got my arm on each of the seats and Scott's back in the driver's and Wally's here and I mean all of a sudden I look up and I see this statue, this humongous statue, it looks like a ship in the, in the sky, okay? And it's actually a bronze statue of Jesus and what I said was what caught me the first thing was oh wow look at the crown of thorns you know and all of a sudden you just see the crown of thorns and here comes the rest of jesus's body uh in his bronze okay and um behind him 
is wrapped in these humongous chains. I mean, just attached to Jesus is Air Force One. Um, these uh, chains were just wrapped around this uh, Air Force One, and it was like a parade in the sky. And that storm never hit us. I woke up. You have some idea what it is. Um, I can tell. <laughs> yes. So my thing is in my dream is um, the sunny day, beautiful enjoyment. Everything is perfect and beautiful. Yeah. I'm just praising God. I just feel so blessed. And um, in, in, that represents us just going about our business, life. enjoying our life, mm -hmm. doing our thing. And all of a sudden, we're hit with the storm uh, of raging vengeance upon us. Mm -hmm. And there is no place for us to hide. Mm -hmm. But prayer is the only thing that is going to get us out of it. The only thing. And when my husband's a baby um, Christian, I mean, God, I see God's work in him all the time. Um, I never really understand why Wally is in my dreams. Um, so I think that's why I went to the front seat was because I'm the prayer warrior in the house and it's my responsibility to make sure everything is covered and mm -hmm. taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I took the wheel, that it implied that it is my responsibility. I am to pray. And I have noticed there is no place to hide. There's no, mm -hmm. don't be stupid going down some path that's going to get you in a bad place. <laughs> and when my husband said in the dream that at the same time I did, no, you'll get stuck. Mm -hmm. That was saying that God has his hand on him. He is in a line with me, not to worry about Scott, but to just do what I'm supposed to do. I backed myself up into a briar bush mm -hmm. in faith that I know that <laughs> it's only God that's going to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, bronze, I'm not real sure, but my understanding, I think bronze is a sign of judgment, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, in the word um, and Jesus is bronze in here he and what's funny it's not just Jesus it's, it's him with the crown of thorns that was the first thing that I saw um, that means that he has died for our sins he hears our prayers he has us in control yes America may be under judgment and that but God has us in his chains he has us he's 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 got us he's mm -hmm. the one pulling us down but we must pray we must be faithful and move just pray even when we don't know where we're going mm -hmm. to go so that is what I got did you get that from the Holy Spirit is that what you believe because it's mm -hmm. just so it's so absolutely everything that I get from it I have some details for okay. you yes. um, Wally is very really important in your husband's life. That's, that's why he's in your dream. To me. That's, that's why he's in your dream. Okay. Um, you and him are probably the two most, not necessarily most important, but the most influential people in your husband's life right now. Okay. And Wally can also represent um, where your husband has, before coming to the Lord, kind of got his direction and confidence from and he's, he's kind of moving that over to now with a wife who knows the Lord and he's agreeing with you. In the past, he probably would have been more in a line with Wally going, yeah, let's go down here. Mm -hmm. But because he's come to the Lord and he's growing in the Lord, he's seeing things in the Lord and, and he's trusting your judgment. And the fact that he was driving first, he, God's word says that he should be the leader, mm -hmm. but all of us know that takes time. Right. Not everyone, not every husband is where the wife is spiritually. Mm -hmm. And he had no problem going in the back seat and allowing you to do, to use your strengths, to use your ministry. The car is the ministry. And he was guiding it, but when trouble came, he had no trouble at all saying, here, honey, you, 
you right. take the wheel because you know what we're doing here. I thought it was interesting that your crown of thorns was so prevalent that that's what you saw and yet and at the same time you hid in a briar patch which is thorns <laughs> as well and I think that was part of that connection and mm -hmm. and he did I mean that is what that is him crucified we're showing him crucified and when you said a bronze Jesus I thought well that is interesting and, and I just checked to make sure it, it is sin and judgment and we have we, we, we will be judged by what we've done. But I also believe the reason he was a statue and not him himself is, unfortunately, America as a whole, think of him, it has a religion rather than a relationship. Mm -hmm. And if the majority of Americans, true believers had a relationship with him, I believe he would have been a person in your dream versus a statue that we're used to seeing in church or the cross or this thing in our head you know that religion but not the relationship mm -hmm. but n nonetheless he was there and he was still he still loves us he knows we have a long way to go <laughs> but he was still there and he was pulling america behind him air force one actually represents the military arm of america you know we know that there's going to be persecution uh, you know, as believers, and we may never see what some countries see, but we are in a battle. And whether that battle will ever be uh, physical on on our soil, it's certainly spiritual. And and Jesus is who's going to pull us through. And it would be a whole lot better if he was a person rather than a statue, right. because had he been a person, he wouldn't have been pulling the plane. The plane would have been, you know, flying on its right. own. But if enough real believers will really intercede for our country, it won't have to be towed. It's being towed. It's kind of being pulled along. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, as a believer, when I pray for our country, I kind of feel like, oh, come on. Yes, <laughs> Get I with agree. the program, and especially all, you know, the politics involved, and, and even people who say they're believers, in, in politics, it's, sometimes it looks different than what I think a believer should look like. And so that's why some of the symbols weren't, I guess, as um, spiritual or pure as you would want them to be. Like you would want the plane flying on its own. You would want Jesus to be a person, not a statue. But even with our shortcomings, he has promised that he's going to take care of us. As long as we stand with Israel, He's going to bless us. That's His Word. Love's Way Church with Pastor Johan McGregor. It's time for our dreams to be fulfilled for this season. Can you articulate what is your dream for your future? If you don't have a dream, you better get a dream, friend. Live life Love's Way. Nothing brings more joy to the heart of the Father to see you excel. To see you dream big. What are you dreaming about? What are you asking? What is, what is your vision? If you say, I don't have, I don't know. You're in the right place. Because he's the one that gives the dreams. Join Pastor Johan at Love's Way Church, Sunday morning at 10 a.m and Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. As I edit this footage, I'm reminded of the very first time I met Angela back in 2019. Then her dreams were telling her to get involved with the government and with the political system. Since then, she's traveled to D.C and she continues to pray for God's will over America. Angela is a prime example of hearing and obeying the instruction and the word of the Lord that she's received through a dream. When you think of your dream and Jesus was a, was a statue, he wasn't just bronze, he was a statue. Right. He wasn't, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't moving, he wasn't functioning. We've sat back and we, we almost worship an idol with him. We don't worship him as God. We worship him, many of us, 
uh, worship him like he's a statue. And, you know, we throw some alms at him and we ask for something, you know. But as far as really getting in there and communicating with him and asking him, Lord, what do you want me to do about this? Mm -hmm. um, my father is a believer, but he watches so much news on TV that it, it has him in fear. And, I, and finally, I'm just like, Dad, don't just stop watching it. Because mm -hmm. if you can't do anything about it, mm -hmm. then stop watching it and just... Yeah. Pray and, and believe that the Lord is going to take care of us. We, uh -huh. we know that the world is going to come to an end. We know things are going to happen. We know Scripture says not everything is going to be wonderful, and yet we get upset when it's not. And yet, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not a doomsday believer. I believe in a glorious day for the, for the church. Mm -hmm. But we're still going to go through things right. if we spend time in prayer. Right. Where we know the Father as a person, not a statue that can actually do something for us, mm -hmm. as long as we treat him like an idol or a statue, he can't, he can't do for us. And I believe it is our sin that has made him this bronze statue. Mm -hmm. And it's our lack of treating him like he's a person and expecting to hear from him like he's a person. I'm so glad you gave me that. because. Thinking, why is Jesus a statue? He's mm -hmm. bronze. I mean, mm -hmm. he's hard. He's, he's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but think of some then, churches that you've been to or you've heard of, and he might as well be. He's not welcome. The Holy Spirit is not welcome, and the Spirit is, true. is who makes him alive because he's with the Father. Right. He's not. Jesus isn't here. Jesus isn't here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you kind of want to upset people, but read your word. Jesus isn't on the earth. Jesus is with the Father in heaven. His Holy Spirit is here, right. and Holy Spirit is the person of Jesus. And we have made Jesus a bronze statue, and then we want to know why things aren't going like we want them to on our lives. We have to have a personal relationship with Him, and that's what you're talking about is the difference in a statue and a real person. And even in the dream, America was not healthy. It wasn't strong and flying on its own. It was being towed. Yes. Like kind of broken. Right. And that's where we are. Prayer. 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 Yeah. Prayer. yeah. And interceding prayer. Yes. Interceding for our president. And, you know, if you wish that someone else was in the presidency right now, which half of America does, and then uh, the other half wish that prior. Whatever your political insights are, we're still ordered to pray for our leadership. It, we can't wish for our leader to fail because when our leader fails, America fails. And we have Believers, I, I believe that we're the ones who are going to keep America alive and keep us going so that that plane isn't on a tether to a brass Jesus. Angela and I spent three hours in the studio just chatting, and now I'm trying to fit all that footage in a 30 minute program. Angela did ask me to share my testimony of how I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you're interested in hearing that portion of the interview, you can find that on my YouTube channel. And while you're there, why don't you subscribe? Imagine if your dream was real, if, if you take it literal, if you had this bronze statue, even if it was a small one, and you had to carry it with you to do the dishes and then carry it with you mm -hmm. to go to the pick up the kids mm -hmm. from school and I mean just just that and yet that is what a lot of religious people do mm -hmm. and it doesn't make us any different than than the the Buddhist and the other religions who have a, a God that is a statue um, we have a living God and yet we treat him like he's an idol made from our from bronze so how can we change that? I mean, how can we help people understand? I mean, surely they want it. What is stopping them from receiving it? I'm not sure that everyone does want it. Huh. When I was still working in the world, um, years and years ago, before I received uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, was speaking in tongues, I told 
a woman I worked with, a little bit older than me, I said, I've been praying for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I want to be able to have a heavenly language. And, and this is a believer. And she said, why, would, why do you care about that? You, you're, you know, you, you're smart, you teach. I think I was teaching children's church at the time. You know, you're doing stuff for the Lord. And it was like, why do you? I mean, she seriously did not understand why I would want that. And she's, I mean, I, she says she's a believer and I believe her, but it, it wasn't important to her. And, and I was trying to explain, I want that relationship. I want to be able to pray the Spirit, you know, God's heart for me. And he, the Spirit knows it because Holy Spirit was there in the beginning. And I guess if you weren't raised or if you're still not in a church that, that teaches that, that you don't know. And you don't know what you don't know, and so... You know, I can't... There's just no... You know, I, I'm going to get emotional here, <laughs> but it's it's beautiful, and you just have to have... Ask for it. It will come if you're sincere. Mm -hmm. I believe if you ask for it, you have it. And I know a lot of people have gone up several times to receive, but they've asked for it, and I believe it's there. They just have to release it. I believe he's a good father, and if yeah. you've asked for a gift, he gives it to you, especially one he wants you to have. Okay. And it's, um, what are we doing to stop it? And usually it's, you know, intimidation, and, and like people like me that like, I don't want to do anything wrong. I finally, I think the Holy Spirit finally said to me one day, even if I'm making it up, I'm, I'm imitating a godly action, and I'm trying, and that's how we learn to talk as babies is, we imitate what we hear, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to say mama, daddy, and I, I mm -hmm. felt like I'm trying, and even if some of this is made up, you're going to come in and, and help me with it, mm -hmm. and I, it's just like any other language. It is a language, mm -hmm. and I've heard people, you know, you, if you hear someone praying in tongues, sometimes you actually hear people praying in another language, and you mm -hmm. recognize right. it as another language. Exactly. And so it's, um, it's a powerful tool. And the world has made it, the devil has made it scary and, right. and um, intimidating. And it, it shouldn't be. It, it just shouldn't be at all. But people have been raised in churches even that tell them that it's not of God. And that's why it's so important for you watching to read the Bible for yourself. Read the book of Acts. And I know a lot of people will say, well, that was for another time. Nothing in that book says it was for another time. It doesn't say the end and it stopped. <laughs> we're, we're still living the book of Acts. That never stopped. Read the New Testament for yourself because that's where the power is. And if the enemy can stop us from having power, he wins. I, I think that's what's going on in your dream. We don't have power anymore. Yeah. We have a form of godliness, mm -hmm. like the Word says, but we deny the power of the Holy Spirit. He has called every one of us to a divine appointment. Yeah. I do not want to be in front of God. And here, you've had chance mm -hmm. after chance after chance mm -hmm. to do what you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. I brought it to you yeah. and you didn't take that step of faith. So, you have, if you have something heavy on your heart that you're supposed to do, and after you rebuke it and you say, mm-mm, and it keeps coming back to you, that's when you say, okay, Lord, I'm your servant. I love you. I know you have the best for me and everyone around me, and I have a calling. You know what it is. I just ask you to put me on that um, path. Open the doors and let me walk through it. And buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> once you ask him, he's going to. He's going to open the door. He's going to show you the path. I was around 18 when I started 
thinking I was a cowboy. I went and bought me a, a blue jean hat and a blue jean shirt and blue jean vest and blue jean boots and blue jean pants and blue jean belt. And when we was missionaries out on the Indian Reservation in the Utah and Colorado area, we, went, we had the privilege of riding a cattle drive. Now, when I say a cattle drive, we had 300 head, and it took seven days to do this cattle drive. Have you ever rode a horse for seven days? I'm telling you, after the first day, it wasn't as fun as I thought. After about three days, I got off the horse and couldn't walk. And I said all that to say this. I'm probably talking to some hunters out there. You think you're a hunter. And you might be. I, I, I like deer hunting and I like uh, uh, rabbit hunting. and I, I can do all that. I just kind of quit. At 65, I want them to come to me. I don't want to go out and go to them. The buck stops here. Did you get that? The buck stops here. You know and I know it costs money to do things. To look as good as I do, it takes money. You know, it doesn't come cheap. You women that are watching, seriously, you go to the store and buy makeup to look as good as you do. Hello? It costs money. So let's do, you hunters that are out there, and you women that are listening to me, the buck will stop here. When you're hunting, and when I'm hunting, I always want that game to come in front of me so it will stop. Well, I encourage you to send us a dollar. <gasps> a dollar. I'm asking for a dollar. Let the buck stop here. There's cameras and there's equipment. and I need a new mic. I want to sound like maybe Vince Gill or Elvis Presley. Well, maybe not. Not Elvis, because they tell me he's gone. I've not seen him on a motorcycle lately. The buck stops here. Send us a dollar. I know you can go to the mailbox and write us a, a put one dollar and send it to us. We have a mailing address, a dollar. But if we can get 5,000 of you to give a dollar, that's $5,000. That'll buy a brand new camera. Keep dreaming. That's what we're doing. We're here to help you dream and to manifest what God wants for you in your life as well as what God wants for us. If you can, send a buck our way. We love you. Till next time, see ya. It's not uncommon for the stresses and the concerns of the day to spill over into your dream life. But so many times those dreams have instruction or warning, maybe confirmation, and sometimes solutions. If you're having dreams and you're not sure what that hidden meaning is, why don't you consider being a guest here on Dreamcatcher and we can seek solutions together. Catch us here next time on Dreamcatcher and catch your dreams.